Okay, these boots came off of the Welly Wishers American Girl doll. I talked about this in another video. Um, this um, was one of the items that my friend picked up at the Goodwill bins for me. It was a doll. She had on the boots and the outfit, but she was missing her skirt. So I decided to sell the doll naked or with no clothing. And I sold the boots separately and I've got the outfit still listed. The boots sold. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about my bread and butter bolos, items that I sourced really cheap and I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. I am a full time reseller. Um, that's my job. I love my job. Um, let me know in the comments if you're full time, part time. Um, just do this as a hobby. Tell me about it. Tell me what your uh, what your uh, business model is if you are looking to go full time. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to source really, really cheap and flip those items for a really good profit. Um, at the end of the video, I've got 25 items I'm going to talk about. I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what I paid for all 25 items in total and what they sold for in total. So um, bread and butter, a lot of people pass it up, but I'm going to show you that it can really be a, it can be income. I mean, definitely income. And these items are easy to source. So let's get started. All right. So the first item here is this American Girl booster seat. I got this, I believe at a garage sale. Cost of goods was probably around dollar, $2. I didn't write this one down for some reason. Um, I ended up selling this for $14.29 plus shipping. I think it was like an American Girl lot. So, you know, whenever I bundle things, my cost of goods is really, really good. <laughs> the next item is this Lego Friends Hot Air Balloon Instruction Manual. This is the instruction manual only. And um, I did a Goodwill Benz uh, challenge against Dad Planet. And uh, go check out his channel. Him and I do collab videos where we go to the Goodwill bins and um, like you can watch my video and his and see who found the better items. But one day we did this and I was there and I found all of these Lego manuals and I was like, Jack pot, right? Well, <laughs> um, they are taking a long time to sell. I will tell you that I did sell a Lego elves. So if you can find um, the ones that are, the harder to find sets or the bigger sets, those are definitely going to sell for more. I believe the Lego elves sold on Mercari for, I want to say the $20 range. So that probably paid for all of them. So everything from now forward is profit. Um, I do start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. So I do have what sold videos on those platforms as well. Um, I use this perfectly. It is a cross posting service and I have a tutorial down in the description where I show you how I use it. And if you like it and you want to try it, this really is going to help you grow your business. Um, you can use my coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one words, all one word when you, um, join for 30% off your first month. So back to the Lego manual again, very long tail. This this booklet is really small. I mean, this is just a very small Lego set, but I did sell this for $6. My cost of goods, this thing probably weighs nothing, um, was probably 15, 20 cents. Um, sold it for six. The buyer was all in for $12 and one cent. Okay. This is Eve, the robot. This sold really fast. I picked this up at a garage sale for $5. I hit this garage sale. It seems like yearly and they always have really great Disney store authentic toys. It's it's kind of incredible. And I usually get them for like five bucks and I'm willing to pay that for um, authentic Disney store with the tag. I mean, that's incredible. Um, it looks like it only retailed for $9.95, but I sold this for a best offer of $24 plus shipping because probably it's retired or hard to find. 
The next item is this Russ Berry uh, Bearkins plush mini bear. I got this at um, a thrift store in one of their Halloween mystery boxes. And I sold this for $13 plus shipping. So my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. Creative memories. I keep telling you guys that these creative memories are incredible. This was actually from a garage sale. It was from the day I went with my husband and I found those creative memories. I paid a dollar for this and this one sold really fast for $26. It is retired. So I don't know if the ones that are retired are made a little bit differently, but 26 bucks plus shipping. They were all in for $35.25 for page protectors. It's incredible. This Peppa the Pig came from a garage sale. He like um, giggles and wiggles if you push his belly. Um, paid $2 at a garage sale for him and it took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This next item is another Creative Memories. It's Deco File. Um, it's retired. It's for organizing your scrapbooking items. I sold these for $26 plus shipping. These Napier earrings, uh, dangle earrings, I do think these are more modern. You can also find vintage items, but for some reason, these just look more modern to me. Um, I got these out of a bulk buy. Uh, I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. It was over 300 pounds of jewelry. I have a whole series on this with lots of unboxings way, way back on my channel, but fun videos to watch if you want to check that out. Um, I also did some videos where... Um, like there were precious stones and I invited Moonstone Mamas to come onto my channel. And basically like I held the jewelry up and she identified it for me. So if you guys are interested in learning about um, different stones and stuff like that, definitely go check out her channel, but you can also check out those older videos if you're interested in jewelry. These sold for $12.99 plus shipping. My cost of goods was probably like a quarter. This is a vintage cat and candy yellow two-piece baby doll outfit, CPK Gretchen on this tag right here. Um, this came from an estate sale. I paid a dollar for it and it sold for $19.50 plus shipping. The next item here is a mixed lot of Happy Meal toys. They are McDonald's, Wendy's, different just Happy Meal toys. Um, this is what it looks like. I just put them in a box lot and was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. This ended up selling for $18 plus shipping. These are just a hodgepodge of toys from like mystery toy boxes and different places. And I just bundled them together. So not a lot of cost in that. This little applause plush polka dot alpaca llama. Oh my goodness, so cute. Got this at the Goodwill bins. Cost of goods, probably a dollar or less. And I sold this for $19.99 on auction. It sold this first round. Um, why did I do an auction? I did an auction because there were no yellow ones currently listed. And I just was hoping I was going to get a bidding war. Um, I priced it at what I would have um, liked to have gotten out of it, what I was hoping to get. Um, so if it sold for that price, I was not going to be disappointed. Um, but you never know. Sometimes you might get that bidding war. So I didn't. Sold it for $19.99 plus shipping. So I'm good with that. The next item I sold is this little Avon Bumbly Bee Pen brooch. Um, I have done really well with these 1970s Avon brooches. Some of them have like a fragrance uh, glacé or something. I think is how you guys, I always said glace. And I think you guys said it's glacé. I don't know. I'm probably still saying it wrong. But it's like a perfume and it, you rub your finger on it and then put it on. But it never, it's old. So it doesn't have a scent really anymore. So it's more people just buying it for the brooch and nostalgia. Uh, 50 cents at a thrift store. And I sold that for $12 best offer and the buyer played shipping. Okay, this came out of the Goodwill bins. I bought a big bag of Legos. I usually skip the Duplo. I'm going to tell you, like I pick up the small ones. Um, I definitely skip the Jumbo, but I'm going to start paying more attention to the Duplos. And I'm going to tell you why. I grabbed this bag and it's going to be um, in one of my videos. Uh, I'm going to do like an unbagging. It's only like two or three minutes. I'm not sure which video I'm going to put it in yet. But um, this little set was in there. I got so many little different listings out of it. This right here, I don't know why. It says that I took $7.97 for it. I don't know why I sold it so cheap. Or maybe I wrote that down wrong. I don't know. 
Maybe I took an offer of that because that's what I have in my notes. But that seems really cheap. I think I could have got more for it. But anyway, this is Sophia the first. Um, I've also had really good luck over on Poshmark with the Duplo Legos. Um, I think twice now I've listed some Duplos over there and they have sold really fast. So keep that in mind. If you're not on Poshmark, um, there is a link to join down below. There's also a link to join on Mercari and you guys like get a, a coupon or something. And then I get something if you uh, use my code um, or my link. So yeah, this is from Sophia the first. Anytime you see the little figures that are Duplo, I definitely pick those up, but I'm talking just the standard blocks. Uh, yeah, they're doing really good on Poshmark. Okay, so the plush that I showed you at the beginning, this princess and frog uh, Tiana figure doll came from that same garage sale, paid five bucks for, sold her for 35 plus shipping, and again, sold really quick. Okay, I got a funny story for you. Not really funny because I lost money, but uh, still funny. Uh, this is a vintage wood Christmas ornament, Santa reindeer, and one of them is marked, or maybe they're both marked Lefton. So do you guys, when you send offers on your phone, does it ever sometimes accidentally go to send a dollar and you like catch it and then you go back and you hit delete and you fix it? Well, for some reason, I didn't catch this one and they got an offer from me for $1 and they accepted, which I can't blame them. Um, and I messaged them and I was like, hey, you just won my auction. I just wanted you to know that that was completely a mistake. I did not mean to send an offer for a dollar, um, but I will honor the sale. And I did. I mean, I just sold it for a dollar, whatever. It it happens. I got it at a garage sale for a dollar. So I did lose money on this. Um, the buyer with tax and shipping was all in for $7.01. So at least they covered the shipping. Um, their response was, I thought it was weird. It's something like this. I'm ad libbing, of course. Um, I thought it was weird, but I know sometimes people will send out low offers just to try to get like their feedback scores up and stuff like that. So she made a valid point, um, but she was probably like a dollar. Yes, I'll take it for a dollar. So, um, but yeah, I did honor the sale. And I'm glad it was just a, you know, inexpensive item that I didn't have a lot of money in. These Halloween, and she did say I could cancel it. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to cancel it. Um, these Halloween lights came from a mystery box. They are eyeballs. Check them out. Check them out. They're pretty cool. Uh, thrift store Halloween mystery box. So probably about a buck in those. Sold those for $18.60 plus shipping. Okay. These boots came off of the Welly Wishers American Girl doll. I talked about this in another video. Um, this um, was one of the items that my friend picked up at the Goodwill Bins for me. It was a doll. She had on the boots and the outfit, but she was missing her skirt. So I decided to sell the doll naked or with no clothing. And I sold the boots separately and I've got the outfit still listed. The boots sold for $10 plus shipping. This blaze and, and the doll already sold. I just have the outfit left. This is a blaze in the monster machine, but this one is plastic. This is not the metal die cast really nice ones. This is plastic. So I sold this really cheap. Um, if you can find the ones that are die cast and metal, those go for more money. I sold this for $5.50 best offer. The uh, buyer paid tax and shipping. So I got these at the Goodwill bins. I don't remember getting these at the Goodwill bins. Um, I don't find a lot of jewelry there. It may have been in a little baggie. I think I got a little bag of jewelry there once. But these are vintage Napier and they are incredible. I couldn't find anything like them. I priced them kind of high. And I ended up taking a best offer pretty quickly for $25 plus shipping. Here is a little tip for you guys. This is called a caliper. I bought this on eBay. It was like $10 or $12 free shipping, something crazy. It's really, really cheap. This tool is fantastic for measuring jewelry. Um, definitely, definitely consider investing in this if you sell jewelry. Um, just a little tip there for you. The next item I sold is this. Uh, Kasky Kids Replacement Referee. I talked about this in another video. I got a whole bunch of these in a little tote thing at the Goodwill Bins. And they were supposed to all be football and I had baseball and uh, hockey. But these umpires or referees, whatever you want to call them, 
they sold super quickly. This one um, is the second one I sold. I sold this for $8.68 plus shipping. And I've also sold the football players. The other ones are still listed. This was another one I kind of took a chance on. It's Thomas and Friends Sodor uh, Carnival Adventure Replacement Parts. I had trouble identifying this. I did use Google Lens to figure it out. And again, I do have a video on how to use Google Lens. Download it to your phone. It is a free app. It is going to save you so much time searching for these items. You take a picture of your item and it will pull up um, on Google images that match. And then that's going to help you then look for comparables on how to um, how to list your item. I do have a video. It's a tutorial video on how to use Google Lens. Again, it's a free app. You guys definitely go download it if you don't have it. Uh, Benz. I got this at the Goodwill Benz and I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. The Little Mermaid. I do pick up sealed DVDs, um, VHS from time to time. Um, they sell, especially like the Disney ones. I, they're not big money. They're bread and butter, but I usually get them for a dollar or less. I sold this for $10 best offer plus shipping. And it was the Little Mermaid. This is a vintage antique petticoat uh, skirt slip. I can't remember where I got this. I think I got it at a garage sale. It was probably like a buck or less. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. This is a really, really, it took forever to sell. I think that I had bad keywords in my title. Um, I'm not real good with vintage clothing. If you want to know somebody who's good at vintage clothing, Go over and follow B Carried Away. She's incredible with keywords um, for vintage clothing. The next item here is this little doll. It is Disney Pixar Talking Babbling Boo doll. She's from Monsters, Inc., and she is adorable. Um, I got her at a thrift store for $2 and sold her for $14.30. The buyer was all in for $25. The next item I got at the Goodwill Benz, it's this little knee hugger elf. Um, just so you know, do not put elf on the shelf for these type of dolls. These are not elf on the shelf. You will get a, I don't know if it's considered a trademark violation or a copyright, um, but you will get a Vero and that item will be taken down. Um, if you have not checked out my Vero items removed from eBay videos, definitely check those out. I just recently talked about this in a video. Um, somebody had their item removed because they put elf on the shelf and it was knee huggers like this. And um, you can't use elf on the shelf unless it is elf on the shelf. But um, I have a whole series. And what I do is I, in my Facebook group, I post a post and I say, put in the comments any item that has been removed from eBay for a Vero or a policy violation. And then people put those in the comments and I make videos. So that is keeping us all in tune to what's going on in eBay, what's being removed, and it protects our accounts and helps us to know what to take down if we have those items listed. So you may be watching this right now and have one of these listed and have Elf on the shelf in the title. And you're like, oh my goodness, I need to go change that. So. Um, Definitely check out that series. It's totally different from what I normally do on my channel. I'm normally telling you about items to be on the lookout for, um, but these are items that you do not want to list on eBay. All right, so this little guy sold for $14.99 on auction and the buyer paid tax and shipping. All right, so let's talk numbers here. What did I have total cost of goods? Total cost of goods was around $35. Again, a lot of these are coming from the bins and mystery boxes. So I'm just giving you a roundabout total. We'll say around 35 cost of goods, 25 items total. And I sold those for $369.95. And that does not include tax in the shipping. That's just like they bought it for $12. You know, that's the $12, not $12 plus tax and shipping. So um, figured that would give you guys a better idea of numbers. Uh, I don't usually do number breakdowns at the ends. So that's something I'm trying on uh, this batch of uh, videos that I'm doing. Let me know if you like that. And leave me an emoji of a hat down in the description of the video, or not the description, the comments of the video. And be sure to subscribe if you have not already. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe right here, and another video. Well, check out another video. Thanks for watching.